Hi, we're the XX. And you're watching Bedroom Disco TV. Well, it first started with Oliver and I, and um, we um, were about 16, and we just, um, I just bought a, a eight-track multi-tracker. Um, oh, I got it for my birthday, and we just started messing around on that, and um, just kind of wanted to make music for ourselves, and didn't didn't really have too much knowledge about how to play our instruments or how we wanted it to sound, but we just thought we'd give it a try anyway. And um, um, after making some kind of not hugely complicated beats on on that uh, on the Marsh Tracker, we asked Jamie to start making some beats for us. He we've been friends with him for a, since we were eleven, and um, he was doing like, hip hop production, I guess, for himself, and um, kindly gave us some beats, and then uh, eventually joined with us. Um, and well, I was making hip hop like mixtapes at the same time that they were starting out, um, and uh, then I got an MPC for my 18th birthday and went along to a rehearsal, and just started playing along, and um, it just it kind of worked. So we decided that I'd join. We did. We, they'd been gigging for a long time, and uh, around the same time that I joined, um, we started working with Young Turks, the record label, and that's when it started to get really serious. They came to you at one of our gigs um, and uh, just kind of approached us and just um, just gave us, they, they were like, we would like to offer you, you know, a help. We're giving you like a, a rehearsal space and um, <clears throat> um, some gigs. And it was like, it was no talk of releasing anything or um, any sort of, you know, like money or anything like that. It was really like, just really like basic tools. And, and we, were, we were very flattered and um, it was brilliant for us because we were just given a room that we were able to rehearse in whenever we wanted. And I think in that space, we definitely recorded a lot of the songs on the album. Um, well, <clears throat> we spent about a year in the rehearsal space before um, the, the studio XL was ready. Um, you know, it was kind of, we were just waiting for it to be ready. And then um, and then we were luckily the first band to go in there and, uh, and record. But um, I mean, we spent about a month before, you know, kind of going through all the songs and taking bits out. No, there was probably the least pressure we could possibly have had because we weren't paying for a studio and we had the keys to the studio so we could go in whenever we wanted and uh, there was constant influence from the label because it was in the building so you could just go out and listen to some new music or whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't so much like influence as in do this, do that. It was more... Um, the fact that it's such an inspiring place, there's you know there's uh, so many you know, bands come through there to you know to come in and see the and see people and new music is always playing so and you walk out on your break or whatever you know you can that it was very influential in that way. Um, and I started producing when I was about fifteen, um, but I'd never produced a proper record, uh, so it was a challenge. But because I had so much time, I think it it was it was kind of easy because I was just given my own space and um, it, it was it, it was I knew exactly what to do because of the the demos and how long we'd been playing together and how well we knew each other it was just a case of just laying it down um well everything I, that I've seen I sing I've written and everything Oliver sings he's written so the songs we, we piece the songs together from our own parts usually if Oliver would come to me with a verse or vice versa um and he m might send me some words and then you know I, if I liked them I, I'd sort of respond and, and write my own response to that and then maybe we'd work on the chorus together a bit but it's kind of so there is sort of uh, we've got our own um viewpoints on the songs I guess um because we are two p different people who although the songs are are all the, all the songs are basically love songs and Oliver and I have and never have been in love you know we're just he's not my brother so it's it's kind of just two different people's lives and experiences in one song but around a theme which I guess is, is a bit different to a general duet, duet but it kind of never seemed strange that that would be the way that we did it. Um, we've just finished one new track um, we haven't decided what it's called or what we're going to do with it yet um, and we're we're each individually writing and making stuff, but it's hard when you're in such close quarters because we're used to doing it separately and then coming together to work on on things. 
Um, but in rehearsals, I mean, in sound checks, we try and uh, change things and, and write new stuff just to keep it interesting for us while we're on tour. Um, but we're not going to properly be able to start making the second album until the end of this year. Uh, we recorded the album as a four piece to be played as a four piece. Um, so when we were playing it, we found it was actually kind of getting a bit stale and and it wasn't that exciting for us anymore. So having having Barrio gone meant that we were forced to change and uh, the the new show is a lot more experimental and we can add stuff and um, just change things up every day because it's a lot easier now that now that we've had to experiment. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think it's affected you probably more than, more yeah. than anyone. <coughs> well, I just have a lot to do now on stage. Um, well, it has to be somebody that I'm really into, um, and I, well, I always really want to change it from the original um, so that it has no likeness. Uh, and it, and it's, it's also cool if it's got relevance to what we've been doing, like the Florence remix I did just after we came off tour. And I'm doing another one for for Holly Miranda, who supported us, and um, I just really enjoy doing it on the side. It's, it's something else fun to do. <laughs>